Good job. That was well Whether it's the hugs in the hallways, <laughs> the Wonder Woman cape she received, or the pictures of her taped to her wall, Thank you. Christine That's Chapman so has a special connection with her students. <laughs> now in her fifth year at Spartanburg Day School, she teaches fifth and sixth grade English. And I was like always looking forward to that class. Having fun plays a big part. Here you go. You ready? With games. Okay. Reviewing figurative language. Claude's cats clawed the couch. She calls this one SWAT. Yes. Alliteration. Point your team. Showing embarrassment from shame or from a lack of confidence. Sheepish. Sheepish is correct. Very good. For learning new words, okay. there's trash kid ball. Woo! She made it! Good job! If you can make it fun, it's just so much easier to remember and the, the memory is more long term. But at the heart of her teaching is raising readers. Some novels are assigned, others her students choose, picking them from videos online that play like movie trailers. I prefer a story that has the good sense to stay on the page where it belongs. We don't call it work because we think reading is pleasurable. Beyond their independent reading time in the classroom, there's also this, a reading lounge, blankets and all. She's also involved in a project to raise money to outfit 15 students at a school in Nicaragua. Now in its third year, the schools are pen pals. It just like opened my eyes that like they were so grateful. When they get to high school, they can go to Nicaragua and meet the children that they've helped sponsor. She says you can always up your game. That's why she's pursuing a specialist degree in literacy. I can't imagine what it would be like to not get up and have this kind of joy every day. Christine Chapman changing the way her students think about reading in English at Spartanburg Day School.